the light is growing. It touches the bodies of the monkeys, touches their faces. A monkey man, a wanderer, walking always with his monkeys, living always beneath the open sky. In the morning light of home, on the window sill, a bird. Her husband. She wants to go beyond joy and sorrow, beyond the ebb and flow of bodily desire. Dust settles on her books, her learning, her achievements, her past. She no longer wants any of it. He's leaving for work. Do you have to go? She says. Why don't you go back to your job? He tells her. She doesn't want to be part of the world of desire and reward. You can't run from the world, he tells her. But outside, even he pauses for a moment. Afternoon light. She sits alone. Down below, the monkey man arrives. The monkey show begins. The monkey man turns from wanderer to performer, joyous in his show. The monkeys will play a human marriage. The monkey man asks the male, have you come to marry her? The male says yes. The monkey man asks the female, he has come to propose. Will you say yes? She whispers in his ear. She says, have you brought any clothes and jewelry? Do you have a house, a car, a good job? The male doesn't have any of these. I'm sorry, she can't marry you. The male raises the stick. He still wants to marry her, by force. Look at him, he will soon be leaving, crossing the seven seas. He will find a marvelous job in a faraway country, marry a fair and beautiful woman. But he has come to ask you once more. Yes, I want to marry him, she says. They sit before the sacred marriage fire and are united. He takes her away on his small cart. She watches. Something in the monkey man's voice calls her and the monkeys with their tender animal faces call her towards the unknown. When everyone has left, she walks down to the monkey man. Those monkeys, she says, they had no awareness of being a couple. Let me see your face, 
he says. The wind wakes her and the light and questions rise inside her. Isn't there another life beyond this? Another life without these everyday sorrowful attachments of work and money and home, of the dependence that even love seems to bring? Isn't there a greater love? She knows he doesn't understand. There is so much she asks this man. Slowly he tells her that he loves his monkeys, that he loves the earth and the open sky, that he loves to keep moving. He says moving lessens sorrow. Are you married? she asks. I was once, he says. He has a fever. He senses more than she thinks he does. He knows she'll leave him someday, not far from now, but he is silent. The dusk deepens. In the park, the female monkey lies dead. A crowd gathers. When she picks up the small corpse, something rises in her heart. He is travelling to the edges of the city. Road after road goes by. He can no longer avoid what has to be done. He reaches an open meadow. It is time. He takes one last look. He walks away. He sits under a wooden shelter, exhausted. She brings him food. She wants to know what happened to the male monkey. He left him outside the city. Left him free, he tells her. He was keeping the monkeys in bondage, he says. 
Perhaps that's why the female died. And when she died, something broke inside him. She understands. There is a sense of leaving in the air, in the light. He no longer has the strength to stand. He sits and waits. I want to go away, she says. Don't you love me? He has to ask her. Yes, she says, but there is another life. This other life, he asks, where will you find it? I don't know, she says. She is in the park with the monkey man, in the light, the wind, with the empty sea. He doesn't know what he'll do without his monkeys, but he'll face whatever comes his way. There is so much she still wants to ask him, but he tells her that there is an end even to questions. Listening to him, looking at him, she understands for the very first time. Sitting on this bench like she had never needed a home. She's leaving. He lets her go. Only she, the movement, and nothing else, no one else. When the whole of life rises and shifts inside her, how can she talk about it? The monkey man sleeps in the park without his monkeys, without possessions. One day, the monkey returns. The monkey man wakes to joy. In the sea, the monkey is given a bath. Didn't he want to be free? The monkey man wonders. Why has he returned? There is no one to answer him. Surrounded by the sea and the sky, he knows he can only accept what is before him with joy. In his joy and acceptance, he prepares for a new show. Seekers, listen. Seekers, listen. What you understand is what you are. Born in the yoke, you die plodding. Driven by Yama's stick and your own greed. For the sake of wife, son, house, job, power, 
you take this load on your head. Seekers, listen. What you understand is what you are. Now I've understood God's magic play. Beating his drum, he rolls out the show and gathers it in again. The magic is false, the magician true. Seekers, listen, what you understand is what you are.